The German Labour Front German, Deutsche Arbeitsfront, pronounced DT Abatsfront, DOF, was the National Socialist Labour Organization which replaced the various independent trade unions in Germany after Adolf Hitler's rise to power. Its leader was Robert Ley, who stated that its aim was to create a true social and productive community. Theoretically, DOF existed to act as a medium through which workers and owners could mutually represent their interests. Wages were set by the 12 DOF trustees. The employees were given relatively high set wages and security of employment, and dismissal was increasingly made difficult. Social security and leisure programs were started, canteens, breaks, and regular working times were established, and German workers were generally satisfied by what the DOF gave them in repayment for their absolute loyalty. Following the National Socialists' Volksgemeinschaft approach towards developing a greater people's community, the DOF expanded or established new social, educational, sports, health, and entertainment programs for German workers via the Strength Through Joy, which included factory libraries and gardens, periodic breaks, swimming pools, low-priced hot meals, adult education programs, periodic work breaks, physical education, sports facilities, gymnastic training, orchestral music during lunch breaks free tickets to concerts and opera, and subsidized vacations that saw over 10.3 million Germans signed up by 1938. The DOF financed the building of ocean-going vessels that permitted German workers to pay minimal prices to sail to many foreign destinations. Up to six ocean liners were operating just before the start of World War II. According to the chief of the Associated Press in Berlin, Louis P. Lochner, ticket prices for ocean streamer vessels ranged from 12 to 16 marks for a full week on such a steamer. For those who desired vacations closer to home, the DOF constructed spa and summer resort complexes. The most ambitious was the 4.5 km long Prora complex on Rügen Island, which was to have 20,000 beds, and would have been the largest beach resort in the world. It was never completed and the massive complex largely remained an empty shell right through until the 21st century. To help finance such ambitious social programs, the DOF also operated one of the largest financial institutions. The Bank of German Labor, along with additional community programs such as medical screening, occupational training, legal assistance and programs to improve the company's working environment. The DOF was one of the largest national socialist organizations, boasting of over 35,000 full-time employees by 1939. To help Hitler keep his promise to have every German capable of owning an affordable car Volkswagen, the people's car, the DOF subsidized the construction of an automobile factory, which was partially paid from workers' payroll deductions. None of the 340,000 workers who were paying for a car ever received one, since the factory had to be retooled for war production after Nazi Germany invaded Poland. In the case of workplace abuses, the DOF set up worker councils to regulate and manage business practices, along with working hours and wages, and conflicts rising between employers and workers. In 1934, worker councils dismissed over 50 workers, while in the same year 13 employers were punished through the expropriation of their business. Employment contracts created under the Weimar Republic were abolished and renewed under new circumstances in the DOF. Employers could demand more of their workers, while at the same time workers were given increased security of work and increasingly enrolled into social security programs for workers. 
The organization, by its own definition, combated capitalism and liberalism, but also revolution against the factory owners and the National Socialist State. The DOF, however, did openly prefer to have large companies nationalized by the German state, instead of privately owned companies. DOF membership was theoretically voluntary, but any workers in any area of German commerce or industry would have found it hard to get a job without being a member. Membership required a fee within the range of 15 Pfennig to 3 Reichsmark, depending on the category a member fell into in a large scale of 20 membership groups. A substantially large amount of income was raised through fees. In 1934, the total intake was 300 million Reichsmark. In U.S. dollars, the annual income from dues to the labor front came to $160 million in 1937 and $200 million by 1939. There were two main components of the DOF and these were National Socialistische Betriebsellenorganisation NSBO, National Socialist Factory Organization National Socialistische Handels und Gewerbeorganisation NSHAGO, National Socialist Trade and Industry Organization Several other sub-organizations were set up Kraft Dirch Freude KDF, Strength Through Joy organization giving the workers cheap, free holidays in addition to subsidized sporting and leisure facilities. Schonheit der Arbeit SDA, Beauty of Labor aimed to make workplaces more enticing to workers e.g., renovations of outdated factories, new canteens for workers, smoking-free rooms, cleaner working spaces etc. The Front also organized the Reichsberufswettkampf, a national vocational competition. Topic. See also Arbeitsfront der Volksdeutschen in der Slowakei